us with some dude from Vietnam, some pilot. It was fire. I can't remember yeah. what episode it was, but it was really good. Yeah. All right. We are live. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Mindset Monday with Mike and Mike here. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing great. Had a great weekend. Had a good Monday morning. So doing well. How about you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Let me just adjust my volume here. I think it was a little low. Uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I was a little under the weather yesterday, just achy and just kind of felt like crap, but went to bed early last night, took a nice steam, feeling, feeling a lot better today. So ready to get back after it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Podcast, top five podcast. So last week we did uh, top five books to get the mindset right. And this week I thought it would be good to have some, uh, have some podcasts to share with people so they can go and, and listen to these five over the next seven days and uh and get their mindset right so um i know you and i talked before what um what do you have in mind so just to clarify the focus of these podcasts is more around mindset right not real estate not short-term rentals right obviously we recommend our podcast for that stuff and there's lots of good ones out there um but this is specifically around mindset and so I actually have four. I whittled it down to four that I thought were, you know, some of my favorites. Um, not so much specific episodes, although I can give an example or two of specific specific episodes that I really liked. Um, but just general ones that I listen to fairly regularly. Um, you know, sometimes I go off and on. Um, but the first one that I'll share, just because I've been on a kick with that one that you got me into, was um, the Jocko podcast. Right. So we talked about. Uh, Jocko last week with some of his books, he's got a great, po- he's got a bunch of podcasts actually now, but the one I usually listen to is it's called the Jocko podcast. Um, and a lot of it, he'll interview different folks with military backgrounds. It could be generals. It could be the one I listened to the other day was like a Vietnam pilot. <clears throat> um, but it's always fascinating around the mindset stuff that they get into you know, obviously the stories are really fascinating and just crazy. The situations that those guys have been through. But if you, if you pull out the context of like how they operate, how they think the standards that they, that they hold themselves to, you know, there's some great lessons in there on really how to take your life to the next level. Cause in reality, like if you think you're having a bad day right now, you're not having a bad day. You know what I mean? For the 99% of us, like you're not having a bad day. Like this dude was talking about pulling bodies out of Vietnam and like, just, it was crazy, right? Like that's a, that's a tough day. The stuff that we're dealing with now, it's like, it's peanuts, man. And it just puts everything into perspective. So. So true. That's so true. The, uh, I mean, we see what's going on in Afghanistan right now. And like thinking about being a parent and, uh, having to hand over my baby to like a foreign soldier just so that they could have a good life. And probably that parent will never see that child again. Like, that's a bad day. Like, yeah. What's happening to us right now? Like, we're, I'm sitting here in my office and, you know, in AC and it's sun shining outside and whatever, whatever that can happen in the short term rental business or just in business in general. Like, it's not as bad as what's going on, uh, you know, in Afghanistan or what, what's bad that, that happened in World War II um, or in, in Vietnam. So, it's crazy. But yeah, that podcast is awesome. Been listening to that for like three or four years. That's another thing that's changed my direction in my life as well. And uh, he's got like five different podcasts. So um, where did you start with listening to his? Did you start at the beginning or what would you recommend folks do? I kind of just, what I try and do is I look for topics that are relevant to me in the moment, right? So right now I'm continuing to grow my team internally. So I'm always looking for topics around leadership, recruiting, uh, management, you know, motivating people, finding the right people for the right seats, like a lot of those things. So I'll just scroll through a lot of the titles of the podcast just to get a sense of what is the theme for this podcast. And I'll listen to episodes based on what's going on, right? Like you and I will talk offline about something that I'm dealing with in business. And then you're like, oh dude, you should listen to this episode, right? Like, so try and try and be strategic with what you're listening to, to what's relevant to you now. You know, I used to listen to endless amounts of podcasts and audiobooks that were great topics, but they weren't really relevant to what I was currently working on. 
And so it was just, it felt good to just consume information, but you really want to focus on being strategic. Like what do I need to focus on this week and what information can I gather that's relevant to what I need to act on immediately instead of just consuming a lot of random stuff, which may be good, but it's not useful to you in the moment. So when you're really trying to compress time and really maximize your productivity, focus on things that are going to be relevant to you now and for this upcoming week. Don't just listen to some random stuff if it's not applicable to what you're working on and what you're facing this week. So good. So true. Okay. Uh, so Jocko podcast, that's one. What about, uh, what's number two? Um, these are in no particular order. Okay. Um, the next one I'll say is the Ed Milet show. So if you guys haven't listened to Ed Milet, he's awesome. I really love his stuff. He is super successful in business. He was in the financial services industry. I think he still is in some capacity. Um, but I think he's worth, I don't know, four or $500 million. Very, very successful guy. But um, Tony Robbins actually pushed him to create this podcast. He's like, dude, you're so, you're such a wealth of knowledge, but it's not just on the business side. It's, it's on the personal development side and he's got some great guests and he goes real deep around goal setting and personal development and higher standards and all these different things that, you know, I always resonate with. So if I'm in a little bit of a funk or whatever, you know, I'll look for an episode uh, on the Ed Milet show to just kind of pull me out of that. Um, you know, if you can catch the YouTube videos, it's cool because he does the interviews live. He's got some amazing house in California on the water that he records a lot of the episodes. Um, and he's had some real, real next level guests on his show. So that would be the second one that I recommend. Uh, the third one is impact theory by Tom Bailiu. So he's one of the guys that started quest nutrition. Again, he's, they sold that company for over a billion dollars. He's doing pretty good for himself. Um, and I actually got to meet him in Nashville at a conference, uh, about a year and a half ago. And he was one of the coolest guys I've ever met where he finished speaking. There was like 5,000 people there. He hung out for like probably three hours after he spoke, just hanging out with people and answering questions, taking pictures, answering questions. Dude hadn't eaten all day. He probably needed to go to the bathroom. Like, but he was like, so chill with everybody. And, um, I got to ask him a couple of questions. I took some pictures with him, just like super, super down to earth. But he's a guy that will really push you to raise your standards um, and just keep going for the ne for that next level. And his show Impact Theory is freaking awesome. Like it's r so good. There's so many good episodes, so many amazing people that he's had on it. And um, I just really resonate with his message and what he's trying to accomplish. And so um, that is the third one. And then the last one that I'll recommend, I haven't listened to it in a while, but this one was pretty consistent for me for a while was the school of greatness by uh, Lewis Howes. I used to listen to that one quite a bit. And one of my favorite episodes that he did was with Rob Deerdick, the guy from like ridiculousness and all that stuff he used to be a professional skateboarder. And mm -hmm. it's, it was a fascinating interview because the guy comes across as kind of a goofball on TV, but he is a brilliant human being. And like his episode was dynamite. So I highly recommend checking that one out uh, with Rob Deerdeck on the School of Greatness. Just fascinating guy. Super deliberate with what he's doing. Um, now he's in like, you know, venture capital and helping companies start up and do all this crazy stuff. But I mean, he is a giant within his space. I mean, he owns like DC shoes and like all these like, cool things that he was just like, Oh, I want to do this. Like, I'm going to figure out a way to do it. And I think he's been out of out on his own since he was like 16 or 17 or something crazy. And, um, just ultra successful, but massively intentional and purposeful with his time. Like he's got like a daily scorecard on how he measures his life and like progress and all these different things that was just totally blew me away. I was not expecting that from him. Um, and it just, at some point it's on my bucket list that I will like have lunch with that guy. Cause he was fascinating, like just a fascinating human being. So, and obviously Lewis house, he's got some great content out there you now, super well connected. Now does a really good job with interviewing people. Um, he's had some amazing guests on there. He had a, um, it was, God, it was probably four or five years ago at this point. 
I used to listen to this one every morning after I finished my workout, I would lay on my back with my feet up the wall to get the lactic acid out of my legs. And he had this visualization exercise that he'd walk you through. Um, that was really, really good. It was probably around like new year's Eve of like somewhere in December or January of 2017, maybe something like that. It was a ways mm-hmm. back. Um, but it was, it was a really good, a really good visualization technique that I used to do every single day for probably a good six to nine months. Um, so those are my top four. There's obviously lots of podcasts out there, but those are the ones that are, I would say were most relevant for me around mindset, success principles, um, extreme ownership, really getting to that next level. Um, so again, just to recap, you got the Jocko podcast, Ed Milet show impact theory and school of greatness. Those are my top four. Yeah. What about you, man? I'm curious to hear what yours are. Yeah. I, so I stick to one. Usually when I, when I listen to these podcasts, I'll stick to one podcast and then I'll, I'll listen to it for like months. Um, Jocko's the, the only exception I've been listening to for, for multiple years. Um, but yeah, number one for me is the Jocko podcast. Um, actually he, the way I got introduced to him, he was on bigger pockets in January of 2020. So as you know, like late 2019 for me, early 2020, I had got interested in real estate and started listening to bigger pockets. And, um, and then a buddy of mine had his own podcast and I was just consuming a bunch of information, not an investor at all yet. Um, but I'll, I'll put a link to Jocko's interview in bigger pockets. Cause I think our audience today is people are interested in real estate and short-term rentals specifically, but also trying to gain their mindset. So this is kind of a good combination of the, of both. It's about an hour long podcast, um, but it was a good intro into who Jocko is. And then from there, I listened to the Tim Ferriss podcast he was on. And then from there, I started listening to his podcast and it's all about extreme ownership and taking ownership of your life. And um, a few weeks ago, we did that, that talk about um, if something is going bad in your life, like think about why that it's good. <laughs> mm. um, so Jocko is, is definitely number one. Um, number two, uh, you got me hooked on this about three or four months ago when I was in a little bit of a funk, the Alex Sharfman podcast, yeah, the, um, momentum. the momentum podcast. It's, I mean, it's fantastic for, and it's short bite-sized chunks as well. It's only like 15, 20 minutes, most of his podcasts. And he dives into what's going on in his, uh, business right now and the people that he's working with and the people that he's coaching. So he's an entrepreneur coach and he's coaching. He's coaching know, me. Probably, yeah. He's coaching you. He's coaching hundreds of people. Um, and it's helping me with my affirmations and getting in the right mindset to, to know that I am a business owner and I will continue to scale. And, and we are entrepreneurs. Like we are, uh, pushing the world forward and we're the only ones who are pushing the world forward to grow rather than, um, you know, the ones that are just working, you know, nine to fives, which is not a bad thing, but entrepreneurs are really where growth comes from and in human evolution, really. Um, so that's number two for me. Um, and then three and four. So I've talked about this a lot to uh, my peers, uh, and I know this is mindset focused, but I'm going to drop one episode from the STR secrets podcast that you did at the beginning of this year, actually it was end of last year for goal setting. Uh, it's episode number 32. It was just you and E, uh, focused on being very clear on what your what goal you're looking to achieve, um, why you want to achieve it. And then it's a very easy step-by-step process to hit that goal. Um, so I'm going to drop the, uh, the link to that in there as well. And then uh, lastly, number four, um, this is more of a more of a broader uh, life type of episode. Um, And it is from the millionaires, millennial millionaires through real estate podcast, my buddy, John Farber. Uh, He started that, I think at the beginning of 2020, but he had a guy on there named Ken Wimberly. I wish Ken had a, uh, a podcast himself, but, uh, Ken talks about how he has to take care of 
himself first and his family first before he can really give um, give all he can to attract money. Um, and Ken's just approach to life and how he's focused on his himself and his family first. And, and that's something that I've adopted with my men, um, mental state is my mindset is like, all right, I got to take care of myself before I can take care of my family. I got to take care of my family before I can, you know, worry about my nine to five, taking care of my boss, you know? Um, so I'll drop those in the, uh, in the Facebook group, or I guess on this, uh, on this live and folks can take, take a listen to it. Um, but yeah, those, those four podcast episodes are, are some that have made a, a huge impact on me. And then I, I listen to a bunch of different podcasts or mainly around like war history and military history, um, which is just something I, that's a hobby for me, but, um, you know, Jocko podcast one, um, the SCR secrets podcast two, Alex Sharp. Well, I guess Alex Sharpton's momentum podcast too. And then, um, Number four would be um, the episode with Ken Wimberly. So um, we'll drop those in there. But um, the last yeah. one, th there is one more. It's it's not it's not a podcast. It's actually a YouTube video of a guy named Frank Kern. Yeah, um, sent that to me. Yeah, so somebody sent that to me uh, about a year and a half ago now. And his uh, his core influence talk, which talks about like figuring out what your perfect average day looks like and then design that and work to design it. It's about two hour video, YouTube video, but that's, that's another thing that got my mindset really on the right path was, all right, what does my perfect average day look like? Like, who am I hanging out with? What am I doing in the morning? What am I eating for breakfast? What am I eating for lunch? What do I do for work? Like we can design that. Yeah. Nobody's that's the whole just, point, man, of, of starting this thing. And I try and get people to take that step back and think about that before you dive in because <clears throat> that's the whole point. Like you don't want to get to 20, 50, 100 units and then be like, man, this isn't what I wanted. Like I wanted to be able to travel and, you know, make 20 grand a month and have a good lifestyle. It's like, okay, cool. Then why do you have a hundred units right now? Like, what are you doing? You know, or I want to start a restaurant or I want to learn guitar or do all these other things. Like, okay, cool. Like you can do that. You don't need a hundred units to do that. Like you can do that pretty quickly. So get clear on, on what is your ideal day look like for you. And that's why, like for me, like I already told my team, like I'm not taking any more like management clients. Cause like we're already making plenty of money. Like I love doing this stuff. So why would I deviate more time and energy and focus to keep adding more units just to add units? Like it's, just, it logically, it doesn't make sense. So figure out what's true to you. The money's great, but at a certain point, like the time is way more valuable. Like that's the whole point of why we started this thing. So, yeah. So true. So true. So I'd be curious people that are on here, what are some of your favorite podcasts? Cause I'm always looking for good stuff. Might turn me on to Jocko pretty heavy. Um, but if you guys have some good podcasts you're listening to, I'd love to check them out. So throw them in the comments. I'm curious uh, what you guys are listening to and what's, what's moving the needle for you right now. Cause there's, there's gotta be millions of them at this point. There's gotta be. So yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of them that I haven't even heard of yet. Um, we'll give it a second. Cause we get a bunch of people on here. Post in the comments guys, what podcasts are you listening to right now that are really moving the needle? Hopefully listen to the short term at the secrets podcast for sure. But what are some other podcasts that you're listening to? You know, maybe specifically around mindset stuff and personal development that are helping you move the needle. I'd love to know. I love it. Soul represent. <laughs> uh, what else you guys got? Anything else? I'm just looking through my feed right now to see what other shows, cause there's a bunch of them in here. Mm -hmm. My buddy, Matty A, who's been on my podcast, he's got something called the Millionaire Mindcast. That's another good one. Mm -hmm. The One Thing is a good yep. podcast. My buddy, Ian Lobis, he's a real good buddy of mine. He's got one called Men on Purpose. Um, yeah, Chris listens to the One Thing podcast. One that's pretty fascinating is how I built this. It's actually produced by NPR pretty fascinating on how certain companies uh, got built. Um, I 
I was listening to the Tim Ferriss podcast pretty heavily before. Say, just, Tim, Tim Ferriss has popped up on my screen. He's another one. Yeah, he's good. But I think the ones that we've mentioned so far, um, yeah, on on Fuck Your Brain, I've heard that one's really good. I haven't haven't listened to it, but the One Thing podcast, I have listened to that. Um, a lot of these podcasts, they have really actionable, actionable steps that we can take out of them. Um, you know, before I got heavy into this um, mindset or personal development or whatever you want to call it, before I got into this, I was listening to a lot of podcasts just for like pleasure, just keeping up with the what's going on in the world. Um, but some good, some better ones like the Tim Ferriss podcast. Yeah, he does do some current events. He interviews some current people. Um, but he's got some nuggets in there. Yeah, his, his podcasts tend to be pretty long, but he's got some good nuggets in there. Um, but when I took it to the next level of really getting into the Jocko podcast that has very actionable tips and structured, tangible things that we can take out of it, that's that's where my, my game really went to the next level um, on the mindset side. So uh, I guess the, the point of me saying that is find a podcast that fits for you that you can really implement in your life and take some of these things that you learn and listen to and implement in your life uh, rather than just listening to it for, for pleasure. Um, I'd rather see somebody with- listen to the same episode 30 days straight and actually implement it than listen to 30 different episodes in 30 days. Yeah. Like ideas are a dime a dozen. It's all about implementation and execution. That's what moves the needle. Uh, glowing up with G. Interesting. Life, life coach school, Tim Ferriss. Okay, cool. Hello. Awesome guys. Well, uh, Mike, what do we got on tap tomorrow for Tuesdays with Mike and Mike? That is a good question. Um, what do we have? I'll get it up here in a second. I'm not prepared this morning. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Um, you guys drop your listing in the, uh, in the Facebook comments here. We're going to analyze some listings and provide some, uh, some feedback on your, on your Airbnb listing or VRBO. Um, drop it in the comments, drop it in the Facebook group. We're going to take at, take a look at at least three listings, um, from people that are in this group here. Um, Analyze it, provide some tips just based on the, what, Mike, you've probably got pushing a thousand units in the mastermind. Um, yeah, it's got to be close to that. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. And I know you've done that a lot on Clubhouse too, so I'm hoping this would be successful on uh, I can figure Facebook. it out. If I have a little time in the morning, I really want to figure out how to use this new like board that I got going on over here. It's like a smart whiteboard. I can put your listings up on there and get out the pen and just take notes on it and show you guys some stuff. So I haven't played around with it much yet. I just got it installed a few, maybe a week ago, but I know I can do zoom through it. So that might be cool. That'd be awesome. Um, cool, man. Well, uh, well I'm excited and uh, hopefully you guys got some value out of this. Again, be, be intentional with the material that you're listening to look at where you're at right now and figure out where are you struggling and where do you need help and Focus your attention on finding material related to that, not just absorbing a bunch of random stuff. Be very intentional with the material that you consume and that will help you move the needle forward and help you stay focused, right? If you're having an issue with like budgeting or finances or whatever, don't be listening to a million other things like dial into, you know, profit first and Mike Michalowicz's stuff, like get into that. Just focus on that because the more you hear it, it's just going to keep you in momentum in that certain bucket. Right. So be intentional, go out there, keep learning, keep moving the needle every single day. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for Tuesdays with Mike and Mike. Take care, everybody. See you.